God, how do we keep the enemy from defeating us? He said, return unto me. What he's saying is, don't forget, it is I who gives you power in your hands. Now I'm gonna read this to you in a minute, but God says, don't forget America, don't forget world, it is me, Jehovah Jireh, your provider, who gives you the power in your hands to gain wealth. So God says to Moses, say now. And he said, speak into their hearing. Speak into, the, not their ears. When, when you see this in Hebrew, it means speak into their spirit, their spirit of revelation. That's why Jesus said, some have eyes to see, but don't see. They have ears to hear, but they don't hear. But blessed are you who see and hear. That means you're not just hearing words, but you're receiving a revelation from the Almighty God. And he says, now watch in Exodus 12. Now the children of Israel had done according to the word of Moses, and they asked from the Egyptians articles of silver, articles of gold, and articles of clothing. And the Lord, when they did what God told them to do, and you know, it, it just hits me. Jesus said, don't be hearers of the word only, but doers. How many of us know what the word of God says, but we don't do it because we haven't realized in our spirit, it's a revelation. Folks, come unto me 30, 60, 100 fold and not empty handed and I will open the unlimited power of God into every area of your life. This is not just scripture that is written down, it is rhema. It is the living word of God. And when they did, when they did what Moses told them to do, the Egyptians began the example of the end time transfer of wealth. And in a now moment, in a now moment, they went from slaves into walking into the promise, the journey to the promised land with the wealth of the world, which is stored up for the righteous.